So hey there, uh, my name is Arnel Madraso, I'm the teacher blogger. So uh, I'm more into book reviews. Um, I'm also doing uh, the teaching of writing, you know. I'm really more into educational blogs, but once in a while I do music, I do ukulele, I can also do travel, food. But this one, this platform I'm entering now is reaction videos. And uh, my focus is on music. So for today, I'm going to do a reaction video on Catriona Grace. Uh, we, we're in this together, the strip version with Sam Milby. No shoes on their feet, the kids begging in the street, and a mother's got a baby with no food to eat. And I said, I'm driving by pretending not to see. But if a change is gonna come, then it's gotta start with me. So I'm never gonna sleep again, long as you ain't got a home. You can use my only bed to rest your weary head Cause we're in this together And I don't ever want to eat again Long as you're still going hungry You can take everything you need It doesn't matter to me Cause we're in this together Now let us start on how I encountered her being a singer, as a as an artist, as a musician. But of course, her being a, a beauty queen was the the path leading me to research about her singing, because you know it's everywhere in the interview that she is a cultured voice talent. Cultured means that she really studied formal voice lesson and so when you study a voice uh, lesson formally it's quite different with just learning it by your ears and by experience but this one you can really tell that she really has the the training uh, breathing 
take getting the voice from the diaphragm then the voice is really well modulated um and that if we will categorize her voice she's more into she her voice as a soprano is a thick voice as a soprano uh we call this in sabacano as greso el voices greso a thick voice she has the i think the quality of a voice of tony and jessa saragosa no uh tony gonzaga and jessa saragosa the thickness of the voice but not more into kayla or nina that's thin soft soprano or, or color coloratura this one is mezzo soprano so she has a thick voice in that a powerful voice also um now in terms of her training goes with the expression you know there's really she sings uh as she also uh shows facial expression with the way she sings she feels it she sings from the heart but where did i really encountered her singing not this one not this one because it's just just came late, uh, lately when she joined the miss universe and then this is this song was in fact part of her um this is part of her a charitable uh, group she composed the song then the proceeds will go to that uh, charitable group for the tondo children so in this case still if you look at her channel she put her as a disclaimer that all proceeds of this stream everything that she will be earning in youtube will be going to the foundation which in fact she is really contributing for the education of the children but that's beside the point my reaction here is on her voice so let me play to you the first because when i came to know during the interview that she sings that she has uh that she has uh, uh, uh learned that she enrolled in a voice lesson cultured uh, vo uh, voice talent and so i researched something about how how did she start start singing what are some of the songs that she's, she sings in fact i also came across her performing uh, pop songs but this one really uh, captured my attention so this one let me play this So that's the point of the thickness of her voice so you know powerful thickness of powerful thickness of a soprano voice that's mezzo soprano so there's no doubt that she can really sing right so there's no the doubt. point is you know people would see her as a beauty queen and that uh you might think that perhaps people would just say would just clap while she performs because she is really the miss universe but it's not it's not only the face but it's really the voice she has the voice now now the the unique part of katriona is that she has uh she has the face she has the the body she has the beauty and also in addition she has the voice so almost approximately approximating per perfection that's why you know people would still even despite of this approximation of perfection not only in beauty uh voice do you know that she also has a she's also a black belt in karate so physically she's also fit and so it's like all talents are already there in her and that she is approximating perfection but still you would hear criticisms right um now i wouldn't want to dwell in her issues about her past uh, life no but in terms of marketing somehow this is affecting in a way you know? it's affecting her image of a of a very charitable person no? you know there are issues coming out now that is quite contrary to what her image is but you know my purpose here is just to uh, react on her voice now talking about the voice i don't have any problem with the voice she has the voice she can really sing she can hit the notes uh to perfection no only that the composition let me uh react on the composition 
you know, there's such thing as musical arrangers. No? Musical arrangers would arrange the, they would arrange the syllables, and that the syllable should somehow flow with the melody or the tune. Uh, there are songs that really were composed in order that the song will easily be remembered. That's the prime concern of the musical arrangers. It's like when you sing the song, it can easily be remembered by by the listeners and that they can easily memorize the songs and even sing the song. So, typical, a case in point would be the songs of uh, Jose uh, Marichan. No? Whenever I see girls and boys selling lanterns on the street, I remember this, the this songs uh, of Christmas. You might argue that, okay, because they are being sung during Christmas, but remember, Christmas is only once a year. How is it that we can still remember the tune? That's the point, the musical arrangement. So any any songs of any songs of Jose Marie Chan can can really be remembered because they're properly properly ordered in terms of uh, the syllables, then the rhyming with the melody. Uh, same thing also with the songs of Gary V. So if you will if you will uh, remember the songs, it's easy to remember the songs of uh, uh, Gary V. For example, uh, Warrior is a Child. Lately, I've been waiting, paddles left and right. See, one line, but you can easily remember the line. And then the chorus, right? So, these songs were carefully ordered in terms of syllables. Now, that's my my point. This song, I, I have heard this sing. I mean, I've heard this song in ASAP and in other YouTube uh, videos that I watch here, but I cannot, it seems like I cannot remember the notes, no? And the syllables. I, the only part there, that I remember would be this part, no? There, there is only one line here that I remember always. Because we're in this together. That's the line that I all, only remember. We're in this together. That's the only line that I always remember. When I hear Katriona's song, okay, what, what do I know about Katriona's song? Because we're, we're in this together. Because we're in this together. That's the only line that would somehow perfectly flow with the notes. The other other notes, especially the the first lines, it's really very difficult to remember. You see the point? So perhaps the song was composed by her. Since she has a music uh, music uh, education, no? Being a voice major, music major, she has the knowledge also in terms of composition. So I think this song. This song has not passed the lens of musical arrangers because she's Katriona Gray, she's Miss Universe. And whatever she would be creating, it's hers. No? In fact, her packaging for Miss Universe, it's all her concept. Eh? She's helping in the conceptualization, the images, the designs and all. This one, the song, the lines were composed by Katriona. So, uh, I, 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 this is an assumption. I think it's possible that she did not let this check anymore. You know? Because it's her. It's her composition. And so, so from 1 to 10, I think she hit the 8 in terms of musical arrangement. You know? But, you know, there's still room for, for improvement in terms of how, how do we remember the lines. So that is the work of the musical arranger. So this, this song somehow is a lot of there's a lot of movements. No? If, if, if I may compare this to movements, there are so many movements. Eh? Up, down, up, down. So no, quite difficult to follow. Uh, quite complicated in terms of the high, low notes. No, uh, The only line that I remember is, because we're in this together. That's the only line that I remember. The rest, kind of difficult to follow. Although, when you listen to the music, when she sings it, wow, she sounds good. But how do I remember the lines? See? So, uh, good songs that can, can be remembered. Uh, talking about uh, the message like this for children, for poverty, no? or to uplift, uh, to help solve the problem of poverty in Tondo. For children, one song that I can relate to you that can be easily remembered, that is very well arranged, is uh, we, are, we Are the World, right? We are the world. We are the children. See? Very easy, easy. Easy line, easy melody, easy to remember. So who wouldn't remember We Are The World? 
We are the world. We are the children. See the phrasing. That is what I'm talking about. The syllables, how they or they order the syllables and the lines that would flow or in sync in with the melody. So in short, I would say that this the arrangement could have still be improved if this was passed through the lens of musical arrangers. But I think they just uh, they just uh, go on with the recording because it's Catriona Gray's song. So maybe some of the parts, some of the some of the syllabication, no? some of the syllabications uh, were not really checked anymore by the, by the by the musical arrangers. I may be I may be wrong. I may be wrong. But that is my my hypothesis because you know what Catriona Gray's uh, Gray Gray's ideas no? would always be followed, especially in the composition. So I may be wrong. I may be wrong, but that is my hypothesis. That's why I'm a, I'm a hypothesizing. Perhaps that is what happened, no? But from one to ten in terms of musical arrangement, it's eight. Of course, it's 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 high. But you know, there is still certain certain tweaking that can be done in order that people will remember the lines. Okay, not only we're in this together. Okay, so that's the only line that I remember. But overall, I can say that uh, the song is well. Uh, sang in terms of composition it can still be improved certain lines in order that it can be remembered in terms of musical arrangement now in terms of the presence of some B, <laughs> what is the presence of some B here uh, we are used to see her alone that she's uh, it's like she's superwoman so what's the presence of is Sam B helping here well you know somehow but even without Sam B, she can but because of you know the issue now that they are in a relationship, maybe they're using also this this mood now that they're in a relationship, that they're working together. They're church mates. Eh? Do you know that they're ch church mates? So they're friends. And only that, you know, perhaps I'm also affected by the fact that uh, her previous her previous life with a certain person somehow is is affecting the <laughs> the this is affecting in a way the presence of another men in the life of Catriona is affecting uh, the fact that you know the boyfriend really helped her a lot before so somehow the dynamics no so is it what do i feel with the presence of Samuel B in this in this song yes maybe i i just thought that some could have sung no? maybe it has to be a duet in order that it, it appears that his presence here is just like you know we call this chuchu wow up you know like he became an extra here he's just an extra but he's already a lead performer he has his own album it's like he was demoted in this in this <laughs> in this uh, single but being uh, perhaps a good friend a close friend now being in a relationship I think that's the point eh? why not why can't they be together right so so far Sam plays very well with the guitar <laughs> but only that my critique is that he could have sung some lines. No, he could have sung some lines because he is a very good singer also. Only that perhaps the voice, uh, the voice, would still have to be arranged, no, part of the composition again. So maybe they they just thought that you know just play. Anyway, he knows how to play. Or another strategy is that really they want Catriona to sing the song because it's her song, and then they just want uh, Samuel B to play the guitar which he really does a good way right now am i for sam in this uh what do i feel well it's okay if you if you'll see them you know eye to eye there's there's that you know killing factor there's that killing factor in Agado. uh but you know with uh, what is happening <laughs> with her previous life it's affecting in a way but overall, this is good. I will give it a I will give it a eight, right? So if you look at them. I think the the staring, if you look at them staring at each other, there's something. You know, there's something. You can feel it. Only that, you know, still we are glued to her past. It's just like, okay, that that past guy is is really more more into her level no? in terms of looks uh, we call that in Tagalog they're really perfectly matched but you know maybe it's not really what's meant to be right it's not really what's meant to be this scene is what 
is really meant to be. So perhaps you know, the only critic here, Sam will be demoted. Somehow he demoted this talent here because he's already a lead performer. He's a lead singer. He has his own album, and then he just came out to be a guitar player in this. But you know, for others, they might say that it's also okay. You know, just giving the the lady, the Miss Universe, the, the floor, and then he would just support. Maybe that's the that's the concept of the creators here. They just want him to be. Uh, they just want the the viewers to know that Sam is just here to support a friend who would just be here to support. I think that's the storyline of the concept. But if I were to critique, yes, he demoted himself here because he's a performer. He could have sang, he could have had uh, some lines. No? Well, that's only my my reaction to this. But overall, this is already a, a very good uh, music video. In fact, this is 2 million, almost 3 million views already. Right? So almost 3 million views and Katriona Grace uh, YouTube is now 502,000. 502,000 uh, subscribers. And I think she already hit a million subs uh, subscribers in IG. I think she has a lot of followers in IG. Okay, so uh, I think uh, this is something that, you know, people uh, would find entertaining and as well you know the other side of Katriona is being revealed as a performing as a singer not only as a beauty queen so thank you for tuning into my blog and I'd like to thank you for always supporting uh, always viewing my blogs and if you haven't subscribed yet if you like this like comment and subscribe okay so bye